Okay, great. It's so good to see you all. This is one of my favorite times of the month, getting to come together and uh, connect with everybody. So tonight, what we're going to do is focus on self-appreciation and gratitude. Um, if you have any art materials that you might want to use tonight for the creative portion of our exercise, um, feel free to go grab them now. It can be anything as simple as pens, markers, pastels, whatever you, whatever you have on you, um, even if it's simple it doesn't matter. Um, and some paper available would be very helpful. Um, so go ahead and get yourself set up. Another reminder, just keep yourself muted during the meditation, especially just it's, it's hard sometimes with background noise and um, all of that. So please keep yourself muted. Uh, you can feel free to close your eyes during the meditation, or you can, um, you know, put yourself off camera if that's more comfortable for you, whatever works. Um, but without further ado, we're going to get into it. Okay. So just take a moment, just ground yourself in your chair or if you're in your bed or wherever, wherever you are comfortable, hopefully, um, just see if you can close your eyes or find a place in the room to focus your attention on for the next 10 minutes or so. Again, you can keep your eyes open if you feel more comfortable. Just take a breath here. Just notice what you're coming into the space with today. <sighs> See if you can just exhale anything that you're holding on to. Is your breathing deep and steady? Is it feeling shallow? Are there areas of your body that you might be experiencing any pain or discomfort? See if you can just take awareness of what's going on for you, setting the tone for being in our space together. We're so happy that you're here and we get to spend this time together for you, for your self-care tonight. This is a time to let go. This is a creative space. There's no right or wrong here. Thinking about non-judgmental awareness. As you notice certain thoughts come into your mind, trying to take you away from the space and your breathing, just see if you can let those thoughts pass by acknowledge them briefly and let them float away almost as if you're watching clouds fly by in your field of vision again breathe in breathe in relaxation and breathe out any tension any stress from your day See if you can feel your heart beating as well. Place your hand upon your chest if you can. Continuing your breath. See if you can notice your breath and your heart work together. Just notice how they connect and Maybe even noticing them both together at the same time helps you slow down just a little bit more. You're breathing, your heart is beating. These two things are working together to support you. And take a moment to appreciate this. See if you can really appreciate and feel gratitude for your heart beating, for the air coming into your lungs together. And even appreciating yourself being here in this very moment 
that you've made the decision today to do something for you amidst the demands and challenges that we all experience in life, all the hard work we're doing. And even your body, your body is here and has shown up for you today. See if you can appreciate your body for allowing you to be present in this moment. Think about all the things that are happening in your body that, that we never have to think about. Take for granted. And we can move. We can take care of ourselves. We can get around in some way, move from place to place. Your body is naturally taking care of you all the time. See if you can deepen your appreciation here and for yourself, take a moment to recognize all the ways in which your body is supporting you. your body is naturally doing these things on your behalf to take care of you, your body must care about you. It's working really hard. Take a moment to say thank you to your body. You can even hug yourself or Again, placing your hand on your chest or holding yourself in a way that helps your body feel acknowledged. Just take another breath here. What else is there that you can appreciate or have gratitude for right now in your life? Was there something about today that was better than yesterday? Because maybe there's a stressor that you've gone through over this past year, something that's been hard. Maybe there's something that you're grateful to have put behind you that's been rather challenging. Maybe there's been a lesson recently or in the distant past that you feel grateful to have learned. Constantly growing and evolving and trying to push yourself to improve your, your health and your well-being, those are hard things to do. Is there someone in your life that you're grateful for maybe that truly listens to you when you speak and maybe helps you feel heard? Maybe there's an animal companion who loves you unconditionally, who makes you smile. See if you can bring together some, some mental images of the things you truly have gratitude for in your life. Just take notice of what is coming to mind for you right now.
taking a breath, focusing on this sense of appreciation. This appreciation and gratitude that is so crucial to our well being and to our feeling grounded. Something I often like to think about is this idea of what you pay attention to in your life is what grows. So we're taking this intentional moment to focus on the things that we love, the people, places, things that love us back. Take a few more moments with whatever's coming to mind. Always continuing the breath. Whenever you're feeling ready, you can slowly start to come back and honor those things just one last time that you've been considering over the next several moments. And as you start to return, you have art materials available to you, you can place them out in front of you, have a piece of paper or maybe a book that you draw in or anything else that feels comfortable, even if it's a post-it note on your desk. And with whatever materials you've brought today, and see if you can make some kind of visual representation of what, what came up for you. If there's any symbols or people or places, um, anything that came up that you have felt this need to honor today and in gratitude. See if you can create a visual for that, or if there were words that came up for you, if you, if you weren't feeling particularly visual, if maybe you can creatively write or jot down some, some words or things that came to mind for you in the process, whatever, whatever it is for you, some way of, um, of holding on to the essence of what we experience together. And we're gonna take a few moments, um, about 10 minutes or so um, in silence to create. And feel, feel free to put music on if that's helpful. Um, I'm gonna be muting my microphone and checking in with you periodically. Um, and we'll get started.
Again, as you know, it's not about creating good art. It's about being engaged in your process as, a, as part of a mindfulness experience. It's about the process rather than the actual product or what is produced. So really see if there's any that, you know, that inner critic coming up for you. See if you can work to, to turn the volume down on that, that little voice that's um, holding you back. Just keep doing what feels good. If it feels good to make certain marks or lines on the page, just go with that. It doesn't have to be of anything.
We're going to take a few more minutes in this space, um, working on our creative process. Please take more time after the session if you feel inclined to continue. Um, it's hard to you know, create kind of on the fly in a, such a brief amount of time, but it's really just to give you a taste of the process and to continue that connection with your mindfulness practice. Um, so just take a few more minutes and I'll let you know when we'll return. Okay, everybody, um, if you can come back to our space together, feel free to put your camera on. And I always like to leave a few minutes for us to check in. Um, if you'd like to share anything about how you're doing, how that was for you, any part of your creative work, what came up, um, if you feel like there's something you need to express. Um, Certainly no obligation, but if anybody has anything they'd like to share, feel free to at this time, okay? I took advantage of um, writing, writing things down, adjectives actually, mm -hmm. um, for my daughter. Because she, had, you know, she is my life. And when the moment I closed my eyes and we started to relax and gratitude, um, her face was the first one that appeared. Mm. Wow. So um, that she's my, my favorite ginger. <laughs> <laughs> um, her smile and her dimples can really light up a room. Um, she's very passionate and compassionate. She's loving and nurturing. Mm. Um, I feel uh, unconditional love. We're like the Gilmore girls. Um, but, and also further in my vision, um, she's getting married. Mm. So I got, I was envisioning her wedding. Mm. Um, she's a runner and um, a cyclist. And I live vicariously through her doing that since I can no longer. Mm. So I was able to bring that part um, in as well. Mm. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing all of that. It, and 
I can really see, uh, you know, how, uh, how you light up in speaking oh, about your daughter too. She's I my can, love. I can feel the joy, you know, that, that you experience with her. Well, and that's what this you. is all about, you know? Yeah, of course. It's about connecting with what brings us joy. You know, what, what helps us get through the hard moments. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. Anyone else feel inclined to share? I'll go ahead and share. I think during the meditation, you mentioned something like being surrounded by love or surrounded by the things you're gratitude, uh, grateful mm. for, something like that. So I got this idea of like making, I can see it, but kind wow. of like being in the center with like a heart around it. And then I really ran out of time, but like filling in each heart with like oh. something that I'm grateful for. I love that. Can you hold that up one more time for us? <laughs> Wow. And so is that you in the center? Yeah. Wow. What a great idea. Um, and crazy. it's funny because in the meditation, my mind was just all over the place. And I was, you know, trying not to tell myself, like, just focus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then this was kind of nice because it's like totally unfocused too, but in a great, good way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes people will often find that um, just a, med a meditation practice can can sometimes be really difficult if it's not uh, embodied in some way. So, you know, using your arms and your, your hands to create something, it can help, um, you know, be more grounding sometimes than just being in our thoughts can be difficult. So thank you for sharing that. It's really cool. You took that in your own direction. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay. Oh, okay, Tom, I was going to say we have a quiet group tonight, but I know yeah. I can call on a couple of people and That's put great. them on the spot. Sometimes the men have to speak up in these things, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Always Tom, outnumbered go by the women. It. Um, I, during meditation, I thought about what I've done during the week. And last Saturday, Kelly was there. We had miles from migraine Philadelphia in Fairmount Park in a beautiful Wissick and Valley Park. And it was a beautiful mm. day. It was sunny. We could see like the fall and the leaves. And Charlie Kessel ran this thing, and she's a great organizer. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we had a brunch at this beautiful campus called Chestnut Hill College. It's absolutely beautiful in Philadelphia. There's a convent there. There's all these historic buildings, and we were on a lawn, socially distanced, with these beautiful tables with white tablecloths. They even had a tablecloth over the trash cans. They had servers and tuxes. They had the muffins, and they had drinks, and they had sodas, and everything they gave you a little bag to take to your table we had two esteemed doctors speak um dr spears and dr white and i took a picture on my phone of this because i kind of thought it was cool you know this is part of the effect here mm -hmm. i took a picture of it it will show up so i just drew what and the amazing thing they had a huge video screen out there in the sunlight and it worked and the doctors oh. did a powerpoint presentation about migraine and different types of headache question and answer with a microphone for like 20 minutes. So I tried to draw the tables and the speakers oh, up front in the video screen and the wow. little round things are tables with people at them, but it was just, mm. I just felt so empowered and just so mm. wanted out there. And, and Kelly was there, I waved mm. her at the next table. We were like 20 feet apart, by the way, we were really distanced. Wow. And the shady area we could go to, but I saw some people I hadn't seen in a year because of pandemic. And wow. My heart good to see Kelly. I hadn't seen in a while. And I saw Diane Fox and a few other people that you don't see because of the pandemic. And it was just that's what I drew the picture of because it was like the highlight of my weekend. And it mm. was just a nice eventful and it was educational. A lot of people there who are getting migraine or just getting diagnosed, they had a lot of questions about, you know, what's next? Why am I getting an MRI? And I'm like, people really mm. learned something there. There were a lot of people that learned things and Mm. It was a really great experience and I thought you know I'm going to save this I save all your artwork here by the way the ones you teach us to do they're all piled up over here I have oh. art paper and I have when we went to retreat migraine they gave us these acrylic painters which are really cool wow you press, you press down on them and the ink flows Ooh. they're called acrylic painter made by F-L-Y-S-E-A fly C oh. there's 12 of them yep. all different colors but they're wonderful mm -hmm. you press down on them and then you just put them back you put the cap on so I'm not the best artist, but I cherish this one. So thank you, Jennifer. Yeah. You really did a wonderful 
Oh. Our session tonight. Thank you. Thank you, that Tom. Was awesome, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate, you know, just being, you know, as you were describing it and telling the story of the day, I feeling like I could be a part of that too. And just the joy that, that you experience there and connecting with people and such energy there. I have one, one little last thing here that's, you have to live in Philadelphia. The man that invented television, his name is Philo Farnsworth. In 1936, he invented electronic television two miles away from where we were. I looked up the address. I went to 1230 East Mermaid Lane and the tower is still there and the building is still there. The shack that he invented television in. there's a little wow. marker out front and nobody knows that. I asked one of my friends who invented television. I don't know, RCA or somebody, but this guy worked for three years in this little shack in Chestnut Hill inventing television and he never got any credit for it. He died at wow. like 70 years old and he never you know, RCA stole the patents off them, but it's interesting, like two miles away from where we were, I drove by the place where somebody invented television. We take it for granted with our phones and our computers. Wow. And screen. He came up with the idea of the scanning lines, which is what makes television work. 500 wow. lines scanned back and forth. So Philo Farnsworth, but it's, it, they've preserved mm. his shack or building or whatever. It's like a, they just mm -hmm. preserved it in the tower, the old wooden television mm -hmm. tower, still there. It's just amazing to see something mm -hmm. on the same day that you went to this event. So mm -hmm. a little trivia, it was invented right here in Philadelphia and it took three years for him to come up with it. And he successfully transmitted pictures to people here. How but cool. That enough? Thank you. That is so cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. Such a neat little story about that. Something we do take for granted for sure. Okay, anybody else before we wrap up? All right, it was great sharing the space with you all. And, um, and thank you to those of you who have put things in the chat or sent me messages. And I'm glad that you're, um, you know, some of you are starting to feel better. And um, I hope you all have a great night. All right. Okay. Thanks, Jen. All right. Um, and um, everybody, just um, the mindfulness series now is twice a month, still on Thursdays. So just keep checking the Miles for Migraine website, um, but it will be Thursdays and it'll be twice a month, like every other one, every other Thursday. Yeah. So I um, look forward to seeing you again. Okay. Take care. See you again, everybody. Have a nice night. Bye. Thank you, Jen. Thank you.